Hey, Melanie, this is John. Thank you for asking such a great question about hybrid. Let's take a little look about how can this type of setup make hybrid better? Well, there's some core things that I think have to happen in hybrid for it to work better. And here are the six things that I have. Number one, you got to hear. So by having this setup, we can have multiple microphones. And so that every single person, whether they're in person or they're virtual, can be heard clearly. The next one is yes and. You got to have an improv type of design, you have to embrace some of the things. And because hybrid is new, you'll discover certain things like we were discovered reverse FOMO, where sometimes the virtual is so good that the in-person people are a little jealous or fear have a fear of missing out of what's happening on virtual. And that's when you know you're doing it right. Uh, the next one is be the MC. I can highly recommend that how this setup really works too, is that we have an MC who is moderating the action all the time. So it is continually moving moving along, moving forward, uh, even if the unexpected happens. So invest in a in-person and a virtual MC. The next is host rehearsals. If you are not doing rehearsals, that to me now is the number one red flag and usually the cause of a catastrophic failure on a hybrid. So do rehearsals and that's, so that's one of the practices we use here all the time that is helping our hybrid. The next is be inclusive. Because you're doing hybrid, you can now include a whole collection of people that you may not have gotten to before. Some of my clients have even doubled their audience because they're running a hybrid, and that's, I think, good for your ROI. And the last one is D, is in design. You really have to work at the design at a hybrid if you want it to be great. Let me give you an example. In this case, one of our good friends here at Sprint and Ray uh, has a Founders Day. They celebrate the day that they started the company. And in this case, they had this hybrid where there's 120 people in LA, 30 people in Germany, and 105 people logging on in individual locations all around the world. In this next video coming up, I just want to show you what it looked like and sounded like from people presenting at each of those locations. <laughs> Welcome to the 2022 Founders Day. Please welcome founder and CEO and our main visionary, Amir. Uh, what is visionary? I mean, we, everyone likes to be recognized as visionary, be part of the, seeing the future. But in reality, what I believe is being visionary is, is actually very, very easy. Hello everyone from Germany, hello everyone from Europe. So I'm, I'm, very, I'm very happy to announce this year's winner of the first ever Collaboration Team Award. It's an award for a project that has two or more teams involved. Thank you so much, Gurija. I really do appreciate all the kind words and um, I hope, first of all, you all are doing great and staying healthy. So as you can see there, if you get all of these things right, all of them sounded great in all the different locations that they were at. And we also made sure to set up things like the right projector, the right speakers. And so that no matter where you were in the world, you were having your experience and it was good, right? Make sure that people could be heard. Make sure and say yes and, and know how to do improv while things are happening. Make sure you use an in-person and a virtual MC. Rehearse, rehearse, rehearse to get it right, include as many people as possible and make your design rock solid. That's one of the ways that we use all this technology to make hybrid better. Hey, we hope this helped you and we hope that we see you on the next video. Thanks again.